Oh. Hi, everybody. Okay, Kathy. There's nobody outside except it's me and you. Just waiting for people. Hi, Denise. Welcome to the channel. Hi, Valerie.
Hi, Mary. Welcome to the chat. I'm doing okay, Valerie. Decisions. That. Let's see. Oh, this came in. Hello. Hello, Second. hello. Hi. I got it. Hi, Denise. Denise. Hi, Valerie. Yeah, we got a lot of people here. Mary and Valerie. Meeting is now streaming live on custom live streaming service. Yeah. That's how I set, set it up. Okay. Hey, welcome to the chat, everybody. Good to see you. I just switch my hands. Okay, thank you, Jen. She gave you a thumbs up. Hello, Lisa. So, what are you ladies up to today? I went into the um Jolly box that I got for Christmas from the Fat Quarter Shop, and I'm cutting out to make these candy canes. I'm so excited to see how it turns out. What I've been doing, I've been busy. Hi, Carrie. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Hi, Deb. Hi, Deb. Welcome. Trying to. Make sure that everything's the right size. Hmm. You know, go back and check and recheck and and this fabric is so cute. I love it. I love it, I love it. Little little gingerbread guys and all that. Very cute. Hi, Carrie. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. He's cutting on another dress. Oh, nice. Nice. Probably let's do it this way. That'd be better. <clears throat> Hi, Sandra. Hello, Sandra. How are you? I saw her over at um, Courtney's. Under flower bed, I seen what you said on Courtney's channel. <laughs> yeah. Yep, it's like caught her over at Courtney's. But then I, I had to leave.
So, Sandra, I'm going to have to have your help for that sunflower thing I'm working on. It just, I don't know. I'm drawing a, uh, I don't know what's going on, honestly. But we'll do that tomorrow. Sometimes these rulers, these creative grids, they get stuck on the fabric and don't want to move. Come on. Do it this way. Mm -hmm. I'm barely still alive. <laughs> okay. Sandra said. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Bailey's a good girl. Only when she wants to be. So you have to consent to? About what? AI stuff that you have to consent to. Artificial intelligence? It says alter content. Do any of the following describe your content? Okay. Make the real person appear to say or do something they didn't say or do. Alter story to a real event or place. Generate the realistic looking scene that didn't actually occur. And you have to yes or no. Oh, wow. To follow you through the policy. We'll hit no. Oh, I did. That never happened. I think that, that's, that's a new thing they added. Well, well, I guess I'll find out when I go on YouTube. Huh? Did any of you guys see that on YouTube, what she's talking about? The um, AI stuff? Gotta go over to the ironing board. No worries, Gladys. This is really starting to. I get it where I want it, and then. Okay, now I got it. Okay, who said what? Denise says that I need my glasses. <laughs> okay, Denise says, Deb, Sandra, Terry, Terry, Valerie, Mary, Awkward Quilter, and all the dogs and cats she's saying hi to. How nice. And um, Mary says, those are pretty blues you are sewing with. And hello, Jean. Welcome, welcome. She says, good evening. Valerie, hey, Denise, I see you covered everybody. <laughs> Mary says, hi, Jean. Sandra, the only AI stuff I know is related to bringing baby animals into the world. Yeah, it's bizarre. What did Bailey do, Sandra? She was digging in her flower bed. Oh no. Earlier. <laughs> That's what I read. Oh, Bailey. She knows better than that. Oh, man. I did. Are Huskies known for digging? Any dogs known for digging? Any dogs? Does Gordo dig? Not that I've caught him, no. If you have to. It'll wash out. Yeah, I don't think any of our dogs have dug anything. Sandra, my tulips will not bloom this year because of 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 uh, Bailey. Terry, hi to all I missed. I'm cutting and ironing and then booties. Bulbs are not poisonous. Ooh, dinner time. <clears throat> yeah. Bulbs for bulbs, sorry. 
you'll know if she starts puking a lot, you'll know she's, you know, you'll see the difference in her, um, the way All she's right, acting. There's block seven. Thank you. Pretty. Short one. And two long ones. Blue. Very pretty. I love those blues. Anyway, those are done. <laughs> right on the block eight. What's block eight called? It's over there. <laughs> um, block eight is called Say It Out Loud. Say It Out Loud. Um, Sandra, she got chewed out and threatened, and Gene Whip decided he likes to unroll toilet paper. Oh, no. And I'm very pretty, Gladys, says Gene, and Denise, very pretty, Gladys. It is very pretty. Here is Block Ace. Say it out loud. That one doesn't look too hard. What do you think? Man, I'm trying to... Valerie says, very nice, Gladys. And Lorraine is here. Hello, Lorraine. Welcome, welcome. Sandra, nice block coming up. Mary, hi, Lorraine. It's over here. I understand you keep talking on the AI saying, you know, when somebody gives you hundreds of millions of views on something that's not real. Okay, four and a half. Got it going the wrong way. Yeah. Something's really starting to get on my nerves. No, the ruler. Yeah, right here. Huh? No, not at all. And I don't know if it's the fabric or... What's going on? Well, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, that's not it. Okay, uh, Jean, Mary, and Nightbot have a thing going on. <laughs> and Mary says, Shh, don't tell anyone. And June is here. Hello, June. She says, hi, Gladys and Kathy and Sandra. Emily's team won the other night, Kathy. Yay. Awesome. Thank you for letting me know, Sandra. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Exactly. I wish I had. Okay. That's so much. We can never do it. Hard. Hard dealing with this. Hi, Dorland. 
Welcome to the channel. Hi, Dorlin. Welcome. Okay. Yes, welcome to the Confident Quilters channel. Probably should mark these before I. Okay, this is. No. Huh? What do you got back here? I'm going to use an omni grid ruler. Okay. How's your day going, Dorlin? Okay. I got it. And then, oh, God. no, I got two more. I was getting excited. I thought I was on the last one. Okay, everybody's saying hello to everybody. They know. Are those going to be done in blues too, Gladys? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's pretty. That is, too. Here's the background. Oh, I like it. I make sure I read the instructions right. <laughs> exactly. Don't want to mess up my sewing. I've been having to do that a lot lately. Read, reread. Perfect. Now it's starting to go right where I want it to go automatically. I don't see more than in there. Turn up that a little bit. Isn't this cute fabric? We get a little um gingerbread and all that. Yes, it's Christmas fabric. And Sandra, for the quilt along, quilt as you go or whatever you call it, I have a uh, heart holders that I'd like to do that came in the Jolly jolly Box. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking to Sandra. Yes, Dave. Yes, yeah, Sandra's. Your your dog is uh lucky to be alive, Dave's <laughs> Bailey. She was a bad girl. Yep. Got into Sandra's flowers. Yep. Yeah, Bailey was bad. Yep, beating the tulips. <laughs> Destroying her tulips and things that she had out there. I know how hard it is to grow plants. Yeah, 
Dave said he's sorry, Santa. Sorry, Santa. Wow. So's Jen. Mary says the gingerbread are cute. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, this came in the um the back quarter box for yeah. the jolly box at Christmas. Yeah. Did you get one, Gladys? I don't remember. It was for last I'm year. I keep the boxes and just take them out of the box and yeah, this is what I'm making. I'm making some candy canes. Christmas. And the next one is uh, not as pretty as Gladys's fabric, but the Christmas shirt. You have the prettiest fabric around. Yeah. You're so cute. You have the prettiest fabric around. Some of it's pretty, yes. Denise, is, is that allowed? Is that an all, all over fabric print, Kathy? I'm sorry, is that a what, Denise? All over print. I don't know what that means. What do you mean? Are you doing gingerbread? Yeah. Sure over the fabric. <laughs> um, well, I'm doing different. I'm actually doing eight different kinds of fabric. Okay, let me show you guys. I showed you the trees and the gingerbread. Now um, I'm doing Sandra said ginger, gingerbread and red. Yeah. This what came like in the back quarter shop, right? And then I'm doing the um, stockings. See how cute these are. And um Sandra said she forgot to tiptoe through them. <laughs> Two lips. <laughs> yeah, tiptoe through the tulips. June says she's sorry, Sandra. Jenny says I was we're referring to the gingerbread men fabrics. Is that Hi Karen. Enough? Welcome. I, you know, honestly. It's a um, fat quarter, and it came in a jolly box, and that's really all. All I know. He said I didn't see the whole piece, just the square. Oh, all right. Um, okay, Jenny, here you go. This is basically what's left of it. This is what it looked like. Okay. Put all the way down. Okay, then we have the um, Noel, Mary Peace, Jolly, Holidays, and all that. This one. And uh, are the boys you saying that yet? Yeah, the wreaths. Yeah. <laughs> Just cook a dinner. Hi, Lori. What's for dinner? Here we're having tacos. Okay, Santa. Hey. Uh, I like Santa. Hey, and then um, looks like the ornament. Hey, hmm. Oh, yes, you did. So that's what I'm working on. Yeah, I can let them just get so I have them today. And then there was a kit that came in the um that came in the uh box. Okay, here's the kits. Oh, I put it at the bottom of everything to know it. Okay, this is the kit. It's called um, Quilt As You Go Jolly Gingerbread Pot Hold. And it does have the gingerbread guy. Hi, Donna. Welcome. The kit. Hi, Donna. Welcome. Welcome. I want tacos. Oh, my gosh. 
Me too, Jean. Me too. Jen says, come on over. <laughs> Jean, you're being funny. <laughs> Okay, yeah, come on over. Yeah. <laughs> wants to come over. I'll share. Yep, we'll have tacos when Sandra comes over. Lisa said she wasn't going to be on today, so you'll have to type pin to drop your link in. Uh, how you feeling, Jean? Any better? Oh, yeah. That was one of the boxes that Dave found when he cleaned up in here. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Jane, but can we but can we hear a pin drop, Cladis? <laughs> yeah, I heard that. <laughs> Shrimp scampi for me tonight, says Terry. Oh, enjoy. And Lisa, sorry, I was lurking and dealing with the grandson. We'll see y'all in a chat somewhere. Oh, okay, Lisa, you have a great evening, okay? Thanks for coming. Hi, Lisa. Uh, I was thinking about Jane on the drop and a half. She said it was keep you in stitches. I thought about her for a second. I didn't. I did. Okay, so now I have to work with see what the under me? Christmas freeze. Mm -hmm. Now I'm thinking about it more and more. What's wrong with this? I got a few rulers going on around here. So. <clears throat> What's wrong with this picture? Okay, um, Jean says, not really, not a noticeable change anyway. I hope you feel better soon. I, I really do. Terry says, it worked. Okay. You won't be needing any clothes. Is this the arrow? Or, yep, sure is. Yep. I've been having to check and recheck everything I do. Just to make sure. That it comes out okay. One tree. I was asking Gina if she's sick or hurt. Did it wear you out to go on Donnell's the other day, Jean? Sometimes. Jean says neither Terry, just multiple ongoing health issues that don't just don't want to settle down. Um. Okay, and Jean, I wasn't able to go to the one-stop shop hop because I just knew my legs, ankles, and back would not be able to take the walking. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Terry, I am sorry. I, I do understand. I hope you get comfortable at least. Yeah, it's not horrible. I don't think this one's big enough. <sighs> No. <laughs> Off by eighth of an inch or so. Okay. Um, and Jean didn't wear me out, Kathy, because I just sat there and read the chat to help her keep up with it. Okay, good. And Terry says, next time, Jean, next time. And there's a uh, Gladys's. Facebook group for those of you that have not joined yet. And Jean, I could hold my own shop hop right here in the cottage. <laughs> there you <Wow>. go. <laughs> <laughs> Are there anything and uh, join my friend Kathy's Facebook group. Thank you very much, Gladys. Yes. Can't wonder who that is. <laughs> <laughs> don't know. I don't know, but I heard she's a really nice lady. <laughs> Terry, yep, Jean, that's the spirit. Yes. Okay, let's see here. I lost the arrow. There it is. Don't even start getting dull on me now. This is a brand new blade. Got one, two, three, four. <clears throat> yep. Rachel's a good girl. Six. Two more to go.
One more. For this size. Okay, Terry says, where is the hostess with the mostest? What is Gladys working on today? She's doing the uh, blockade for the uh, quilt that she's making. She's on blockade. And right now she's cutting and ironing. Coming in a block down to two and a half inches. <laughs> Trimming the block down to well, two and a half inches. Okay. Um, hi, Marie. Welcome, welcome. She says, hi, everyone. Just dropping by while I put supper away and wish or wash a few dishes. Well, thank you so much for dropping by. Terry says, oh, I see a hand. <laughs> Oh. Yep, it's just, <laughs> what time is it here? Here it's only 2.30, so. <laughs> Darn He's good thing. There. <laughs> Did you, um, did you uh, send any numbers to Susan? No. No, did not. Okay. This part, and then I need four. Four. Yeah. <clears throat> Two of you, can you? Nope. Okay. All right. Um, and Terry says, hey there, Marie and Jean. Hello, Marie and Valerie. Gladys, that is a small block. Mm -hmm. And um, Lori, Kathy, are you enjoying your organized area? Yes, I am. I have a lot more room. I love it. Terry, I am making a different dress pattern today as it has been slow going Mona hello Mona hi Gladys and Kathy and welcome welcome and Marie hi Terry Jean and everyone can't type but I have my gloves on to wash dishes ah <laughs> and I said uh, and Donna have a good evening, everyone. I've got to go find something for supper. Okay, Donna, you have a nice evening, too. Thank you so much for dropping by. Mona's leaving already? Which one is that? What is it? What? Yeah, I think. No, I don't think she's leaving. Yes. Donna's leaving. Okay, one.
Make it the right size here, Kim. Nope, one is here. <laughs> yeah, I thought she was. She says, no, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, it was Donna that was leaving. To look for something for supper. I already know my supper's tacos. These people want to see what the block is like. It's there. That's the block I'm working on. Yeah. Um. Terry says, "Mona, did you take my nap again?" <laughs> <laughs> Mona says, "I just woke up from a nap. I'm good for a little while." <clears throat> and Terry, if you have a channel type pin to drop your link. And Shirley says, hello, Shirley. She says, sorry, I'm late. Grandson came over to help me with a few things. Hello, everyone. And she's waving. And Mona, yes, Terry. And I slept like a baby. <laughs> and Terry said, that looks familiar, Gladys. And uh, Lori says, nice block. Let's see if this will drop my link. And Jean, oh, please, someone send me a nap. <laughs> For what? Oh. Right. Dave and Jen said, thank you, Gladys. For what? <laughs> for, for having me on. Mm. Eh, no problem. He said, no problem. Okay, Denise says, Valerie, the block is one of many from Pat Sloan. It's a sampler style quilt like Summer Moon. <laughs> That's no. Cassie's favorite word. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, everybody's saying hi to everybody. Okay. Oh yeah. Love summer moon. Not. But it's your favorite word. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Okay. What size is this? Okay. About two inches. Okay. I wish I could take a nap with the window open with the breeze blowing the curtains and the sun shining in. It is a little, it's a little things. Oh, thank you, Jean. Uh, it's a nice pen to work with. So line pen. Too cold over here to do anything really. Provided they could see the line on <laughs> the square that I just did. Huh. Lori, it's Gladys's channel. We can say somewhere, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? I have the book. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. No. <laughs> uh. Yes. Wow. So, Lori, how's Marshall? Is she being a good boy? Yeah. And uh, June says, I'm sorry if I missed anyone saying hi. Terry, and then you may wake up for that nap. 
war. You, and you don't know where you are and why you are there and what day it is. Right. Mona, summer moon makes me feel fine. <laughs> Carrie in capital letters, summer moon. <laughs> oh, and Sandra, yes, Lori, Gladys hasn't banned it yet. And Jean, it is a type of chalk slash lead pencil, Mona. Love it and use it all the time. And Terry, but please don't say spaghetti. Ah, you say that, I'm going to say spaghetti. June, yes, Terry. And Terry, I just had some. Say it all you want, but just for today. <laughs> uh, and Lori, he's good. Chilling for his dinner. Okay, good. I'm glad. Getting to be a big boy, but you eat a lot, doesn't he? No, I'm talking about Marshall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tomorrow will be five years ago. We got Chase. Yep, it went by quick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me write down what this is. Okay, Sandra. By the light of the summery moon, we can eat spaghetti. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And Terry says, thanks, Mona. That way I don't recognize it. And then everybody's doing. Mona says, 50 mile per hour winds. <laughs> I, oh, man, really? Yep, stay inside. And Deb says, we've had the wind all day. We've had a little bit of wind. Not bad. But we have had bad winds. Mm-hmm. Has to win Wednesday, said June. <clears throat> and Terry, my niece used to say, Ta ma e a for material. Ta ma e a. How old was she, Terry, when she said that like that? And Marie says. Terry says we have 4 a.m. storm where we had to get up and go to celebrate with more face scratching. Oh. Marie, I'm still listening. LOL. Song lyrics and discussion of naps. I actually. Got into my sewing room today and turned the machine on. Yay! Ta Mario. Oh, okay. Ta Mario. Got it. <laughs> she did it for years. Says Terry. Okay, then these were
Um, okay. Sebastian likes to to save my life when he hears a storm. Oh, what a sweetheart! No, I had the book, I haven't so did anything with it. <laughs> She says about the summer moon. Denise. Oh, <laughs> and Terry, thanks, June. Thanks to my eleven pound dog. It the summer the thing about the summer moon is the three different sizes you have to do. Like Susan Yearout sent me a picture the other day about the large one that she was working on. And the small one that she was working on. And I'm telling you, a big, huge difference. You don't notice it when you're doing it. But. But I will get it done. One of these decades. Terry says he's so funny. He wants me to get up. And, and then he wants me to follow him. He goes by the front door. He doesn't know that. Is where the storm is. Hi, Barbara. Welcome. Hi, Barbara. Welcome, welcome. I just had a thread question for someone. Go ahead. Zoe will answer it. <laughs> Barbara saying hello. Well, I'll answer if I know the answer. Like to me, yes. what's better? Go ahead and ask, Barbara. Yeah. Yes. So, like, what's better to use cotton or, or polyester? <laughs> Sandra I says, I can tell you all about Summer Moon. <laughs> Sandra? <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, you. <laughs> he says Lester Holt David Miro and Nora O'Donnell have been forecasting that storm coming your way all week yeah, all week Sandra says Kathy. <laughs> what? Not Kathy's? <laughs> Lori, I like sun I like sewing under a summer moon. Sandra, you can't hear me. Anyway. <laughs> Barbara says, I'm on a budget and found this thread on sale. It's Americana, 100% glazed cotton. Yeah, glazed cotton. Says, says clipping cotton. thread on the spool, but I was researching after the fact, and it says could damage my machine. True. If, that, if it says that, I would not use it. I know it says could, but... I still would not use, I would not take the chance. Sandra says, Sandra. Why you can swim in a pool in the summer moon? <laughs> <laughs> really? 
Marie. Oops, my message didn't send. Sorry. Hi, Jim, Deb, and Mona. And if I miss anyone, I apologize, but I'm doing a gazillion things. Yes. Mary. And Sandra says, Barbara, that thread is a little thicker, and it, and that is why they say, I will not try it. Well, Sandra, would you use it? She just said she would not try it. So, okay, she said it. Sorry, I thought it was Barbara. Okay, and Denise, imagine if designers couldn't figure out how to make clothing in different sizes. Most of us would be naked. <laughs> uh, Mona says she'll be right back. Well, I'll see you in like five minutes. Jen, just go. <laughs> He's weird. When you guys cut out squares or things like that, do you ever go back and make sure that it's that you, you know, like maybe have to trim off something or go back and check it to make sure it's okay? I always do. Okay, um, Barbara says, Sandra, it is much thicker, but my machine doesn't seem to have a problem. An article says is will gum up my tension mechanism. Sandra says, nope, they're glazing. And Jean, that is a hand quilting thread, Barbara. Barbara, oh crap, so I can't use it in my sewing machine. Anybody need some thread? I don't hand sew anything. And Sandra, yes, always trim and check them. Yes. Sandra hand sews. Carrie, Sandra, got... Got Facebook open for you. Let me know what time to do. And Jean, how much... Of it, do you have Barbara? And surely, it could also be an upholstery thread. And Jean, I have used it for hand quilting many times. Yeah, I never thought about upholstery. And Terry, that's fine, Marie. I was just washing dishes as well. Now back to the stress. Yeah. 
Okay, the last one to double check. <laughs> it says it's not in poster thread. Barbara says I have five spools for white and one black. I've used a little bit of the white one. Hmm. The two colors I really don't use. And Terry, I just bought some glide thread on a website. Someone recommended great price. And my machine seemed to like it. It is shiny and pretty. It's all about the bling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Terry. All about the bling. <clears throat> Six keys. And Jean, you can use it to sew yo yo's, Barbara. And surely to Jean. Correct. I misread the comment. And um, Sandra says the glide is less length. Come in. Yeah. Took you seven minutes, Jen. Yep. Any uh, mail? Okay, these are done. So That's all for the first fabric A. Okay, and then Barbara, what is yo-yo other than a toy? Yep, I'll show you what a yo-yo is. This is a yo-yo. And you make it with this. Uh, I love yo yo's. They're so much fun to make. I don't know why they call them yo yo's, but you just pull the thread through these little holes here, up here, and down in the same one, and so on. It's really it's really pretty easy. You put your fabric on um upside down so that the, the good part of the fabric is showing the front part. And then you put it on like this and you stick it in here like that. And you sew. And my um my thread I lost my needle. This is my thread. He says I got Kathy addicted to them. Yes, you do have me addicted to them. No, that's not my thread. My thread. Oh, here's my thread. Okay. This is my thread. 
that I use. So yeah, I got tons of them done. That this and I'm and I'm addicted to um um hexes. So do you want me to show you how to make one in case you ever want to do one? I'll be more than happy to do that before I put it away. You know what else you're addicted to? Huh. Yeah, diamond art, yep. Okay, so this is where I I bought the glide thread from, says Terry. And unknown color. Jean, I got yeah. And Valerie, yes, Kathy loves yo yo's. Oh yeah. Barbara, what do you do with them? Hi, Katie. Welcome. Just got home. Have to unload groceries. Well, this is the thread I'm using. It's the thread that um that Laura sent me. It works. Many, many uses for them, Barbara. Quilts, applique, slow stitching projects, make animals out of them, embellishments. The first, the list goes on and on. Yes. So, um, no, okay. So, who was it? The one in yeah. Barbara. Do you want me to show you Barbara real quick? I can show you how to make one. They're super easy. Um, Sandra, same, same them yo-yos. Denise, did Gladys finish her block already? She finished the one from last week. Block seven, yes. Still working on block eight. Right. And uh, Marie says, well, ladies, time to go take a shower and lounge in my jammies. Oh, it rained past last night, and it took the snow down a lot. We can see brown grass. Have a great night, everyone. You too, Marie. You too. You go and relax. Yes, please. Okay. This is a yo-yo. Let me clear off my table here. Okay, these are um, these are five-inch squares. Okay. So it's like yeah. a charm pack, but mine actually came out of the, um, there was a uh, layer cake, I cut it down. Okay, so. <laughs> Jean. <laughs> it's like, oops, I heard a pin drop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then you have your charm pack here. Okay. And let me go. Bye, Marie. Thanks for stopping in. Yes, have a good night. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that your fabric is on the outside, okay? And you want to take the shiny part of this, the shiny, and put it up next to the outside of your fabric, okay? Then this has lines. Can you see the lines? One here. There's like five lines or six lines. Okay. So you want to take the lines and line them up with this piece here. Okay. You want to line it up with one of these itty bitty holes right here. Tiny, tiny right here. Okay. And they're all around the whole, um, the whole circle here. So I'm going to take one and line it up to the hole. Okay. Okay, and you know you got it right when you go to push it down because you're going to push it down, okay? And you hear it click. See how good I'm getting at that, Jean? Okay. Can you set that aside? <sighs> I got an itch. So it looks like that. Okay, then you're going to take your thread and your needle. 
Okay. You're going to thread it. You're going to have kind of like a tail. Like, I don't know if you cross stitch or anything like that. But you save a little bit of a tail here. Okay, then go back and tie a couple knots in the end of it. You might say, well, why are we tying knots? Well... I found out, this is just me, I found out if I don't tie knots, okay, that it keeps coming apart, doesn't want to cooperate when you're at the end, so, and you got to do it all over again. So it's worth it to take the couple minutes, or the couple minutes, couple seconds it takes to tie a couple of knots in the end here, okay. Okay, next you want to take a pair of scissors I like using these and we're going to cut the fabric like you can see like where, where it bends right here okay so we want to go as close to that as we can get it. Okay. Jim says, "Hey, you, Gina, are you dropping pins?" <laughs> Gina says, "I heard one drop." Lol. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you cut it across. And there, there might be some little big ones here that you can just trim off. You know, you don't want to go too close to the, or you can't, at the end, it won't work. Okay. So then. I'm going to take the needle. Okay. And. I'm going to find. I'm just pressing. Okay. I'll, uh. Hi, Carol. Welcome, welcome. All right. So you want to go up, and it's kind of hard, but you'll get used to it. You know, you, you, you go to where the fabric is, right? So you want to get right up next to one of the little hole things here and go on the right hand side of it. Okay. Pull through. So what I'm doing is I'm getting to the where the knots are. There we go. Okay. I'm going up. I'm in the same hole right here. Okay. Right here. The same one. I'm going up, coming back through it, and then on the coming back to it again. So you're going to do it twice, okay? You're going to go up, up like, like this, okay? And then back through it, the same one, I'm on the same one, I'm going back to go through it again, but on the other side, okay? So you come up on the right side and go go down on the left, okay? And you go through and you mm -hmm. 
You said I don't have any problem. What's going on? Not that one. There we go. Okay, I go up on the right. Okay. And come back down on the left. Aim again. And you continue doing that all the way around the circle. Okay. Just go around real quick. Okay. Um, Jean, sorry, hubby calling. Have to go help him out. Thanks for let, letting the vis visit. Have a great weekend, everyone. You too, Jean. Thank you so much for coming. Hi, Bye, Jean. Where did you find that tool? It's on... Um, Amazon. Yep, it's on Amazon. They have the little one and they have the big ones. And I got both of them together as like a set, I guess you'd call it. Um, I can show you the big one in just a minute. I don't want to lose track of what I'm doing here. Huh? Because it's really easy to forget where you're at. So, so I just said, if you don't want to buy the tool, you can do it like they used to do. Sandra used did it one time. She used a cardboard, like a cereal box thing, and drew a circle and did it that way. But I don't know. I would think that that would be really hard. But that's just me. They have these tools out here for you to use. Keep an eye on the tail that you have too as you're going along that it does not come out. Okay, I'm almost to the end. Okay, one thing I like to do when I get to the end is I like to put it back into the first one that I did. So, I'm going to go back and redo the first one that I did. Okay. And... When you get done, when you get all the way to the end, do not, do not cut the thread. Okay, just lay it down. Poke your thumb through this like that. Okay. Very carefully go around and take it off the circle thing. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. I, I don't know how people do it, but I take my thumb and I put it in the middle right here, okay? Then I pick up my my needle, my thread, and I pull it. See how it's like around my thumb now? Okay, then I uh, <clears throat> I shape it to the shape that I want it to be, like, you know, like the circle, right? Shape it as good as you can. And you're going to keep, as you're doing it, you're going to keep pulling it a little bit to make sure that you get that shape, okay? And that it works with you. Okay, 
And that's it. Um, get some scissors. Cut it. And there's your yo-yo. Okay. Now, let me show you that big one I was talking about. I make sure to take this in the right direction. <laughs> Sandra, cut out a circle of fabric and stitch a quarter inch as in, off the edge. It worked for them. It'll work for me. Okay, this is the bigger one. I've I've never used it, but I think this is the one that takes the layer cake. So that's the bigger one. I like the little one here. It says say, forty five. I think it says, but that's how you make a yo yo. It's actually pretty. Pretty easy. Once you get the hang of it. It took me a while to get the hang of it. But once I did. Okay. Where's my needle? Mm -hmm. So you think that might be something you might be interested in doing, Barbara? Mm -hmm. Sandra says, I'm an old-fashioned quilter. <laughs> yeah, you are. Old-fashioned everything, Sandra. Um, Barbara says, thank you, Kathy. I might take a look at into creating some of them. You're welcome, Barbara. My pleasure. Like I said, you can buy it individually on Amazon or you can buy it together. And I think um, it was like only like $11. It wasn't that much. Huh? huh? Yeah, old fashioned underwater quilt, I guess. Quilt. Okay. Um, Pensa Sandra. There's Sandra's channel. I lost the. Um, well, doesn't matter. My foot will find it. Okay. <clears throat> From two red fat quarters, cut okay, so this one and uh, this one, right? Okay. Okay, we have. Barbara, an old-fashioned quilter didn't use rulers or rotary cutters either. I helped my great-grandmother in 1966 hand-tie a quilt on her quilt rack. It's the scrappiest quilt I have ever seen. Wow. That, I bet you that would have been fun. Huh? And then June, Sandra, no babysitting today? Well, Sandra, I try and use a little of everything. The rulers and cutters save time so we can make more quilts. Good point, Sandra. Good point. Sandra's. Sorry. 
That's a good point. How's it coming along over there, Gladys? Slowly. <laughs> All these squares I got so on. I love the picture. I was watching you. <laughs> uh, Sandra, no, June. Just keep cleaning up Bailey's holes. And June said, I'm sorry, Sandra. Yeah. I know you times like can this. Say she's would... Babysitting a dog. <laughs> and Barbara, I'm loving your blue quilt, Gladys. I have a lot of blue in my stash. There you go. Blue is um, one of my favorite colors. My favorite color is magenta, but blue is right there. With it, go to background. Blue, okay. Um, Sandra. I have hand quilted maybe four quilts, tied several others, and Barbara, Sandra, I have only hand tied my quilts. I prefer the puffiness of a quilt. There you go. How many quilts have you made, Barbara? You want you want to take a guess? Oh boy. Um Okay. Um Denise, Bailey saw you digging up dirt, Sandra. She probably thinks she is helping you by digging. Make her a stake. And Sandra, with this new batting hand, hand trying requires closer ties than I like. And Barbara, my 1966 quilt is still in use and it was all old clothes from lots of people. I have complete 10 quilts, all hand tied with yarn. My mother uses embroidery thread. I tie every four to five inches. I did my um, 
mine and my daughter's uh, trip around the world tour, I tied every corner in that quilt. There was a lot, a lot of corners. And I tied. And I haven't seen it though since I moved. Uh, Sandra, back when they made good batting. I know the batting's not so hot now, huh, Sandra? Batting now says 2.5 inches. Batting that you're looking for? Yeah. The batting that every time I go around it, I sneeze like crazy. Yeah, that batting. Okay, so now they want it. Barbara. Oh, I agree. The batting nowadays is cheap but expensive. It's made so poorly compared to years ago. I know, and, it, mm -hmm, and it's really sad that you know it's like it's arguing on my leg. The product is just cheaply made. Yep. <laughs> Okay, let me see here. So many things are like that now. I know. Yeah, I know. Go that way. Aren't we working? Nothing going on. Okay, um, Sandra, when I try donating some quilts, they want them machine quilted. Barbara, Cassandra, that is so sad. Free and picky at the same time. Lori, speaking of batting, I bought three jelly roll size batting for 60 bucks one and a half years ago. It's now on Amazon for 185 Yikes! Excuse me? Sandra, they wa they wash better. I wash mine at least every other month. And Sandra says, yes, Barbara. And she says, now I lightly machine quilt them. Surely. I wonder if years ago, if they used goose down or wool in their quilts when batting wasn't around. It's a good question. Barbara, I gave five to our local homeless shelter. They were so grateful, didn't care what they were made of, nor what they look like. Just happy to be warm. And Mama Harden's here. Hello. Welcome, welcome. She says, I started quilting when I was 16, pregnant with my firstborn. 
fabric was old clothes and sheer thin blanket and a treadle machine and tobacco twine for tacking. Wow. Do you still have the first quilt you ever made? Yeah. My first quilt's on Jen's bed. <clears throat> I've never um, seen tobacco twine before. Okay, so Sandra and Mary said hi to Mama. Ruler back. Okay. Um. Yeah, I have never heard of it either, Sandra. That's what I was saying. I never heard of tobacco. On the last scene. You go, girl. Um, Barbara, our church made quilts to send to Africa. We use sheets for a batting and another sheet for the backing. Hot weather climates, but still need something. They've turned out pretty good. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Barbara, can you feel all the eyes upon you, Gladys? <laughs> you got to go iron it. Barbara, I'd love to press. Best part of the process for me. Really? I almost have a block done. Which block, Sandra? Exactly.
Oh, I can almost see it, Gladys. Yep. Yeah, I'll switch cameras here and you can take a back. <laughs> Welcome there back. It is. Oh my gosh, how pretty. Look at that. That's pretty. Sandra, the Swoon 16 one? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Mama, no, it got burned when we, when our old burned back in 1992. We used it to sew tobacco leaves together to hang in tobacco bombs to cure for cigarettes. Gotcha. Sandra says, nice. Mary says, that looks so pretty, Glad It looks like it is spinning. Pretty. Yeah, kind of. It, it does kind of look like it's spinning. Now that they mentioned it. It reminds me of the friendship block. <laughs> The, the uh, four points on this because I made the friendship box, so I made a million of them. But it's very pretty. Um, Barbara says, "Beautiful, Gladys. Can you hold it up again?" Very pretty. So she accomplished two blocks today, getting them done. Well, I started sewing on this the, the black seven before it came on. So I was like, so the or the flying geese together. Um, Sandra, in other patterns, it is called the spinning star. Yeah. That's what it reminds them of. Yeah. Going around and around and around. You know, like when you guys were kids and, and you'd spin around and you get really dizzy, fall down on the ground, start laughing. Remember that? Um, Barbara says, oh my goodness, I love it. Yes, Jan um, Gladys does really good work. All her blocks and quilts are beautiful. <clears throat> and Denise, to Gladys. And Kathy, why can Kathy see your block without a delay? Because I'm not on YouTube right now. It's she's YouTube. Watching that is, she's watching on Zoom, Denise. Uh -huh. We're together on Zoom, and there's no YouTube for me. And it's when I'm on YouTube, it causes the delay. So anything right now that Gladys shows or does or anything, I see it right away. I see it right when she does it. Um, Shirley says, beautiful, Gladys. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Compliment from Shirley. How nice. I'm going to give Shirley an inferiority complex. Sandra, Denise, Kathy is on YouTube for the chat. Yes. And Mama Hard says, thanks for the welcome. Oh, you're very welcome. Very nice to have you here. All fellow quilters are welcome. Yes, all fellow quilters are welcome. Because I have to do it for the um, so I can stop trolls and for the chat. But mostly for to stop the trolls and things. It, I have to go through the analytic part of it and do all that. And that's only on YouTube. Crazy, I know, but... Okay. I know she was going to ask me that. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> but that's okay. 
I don't have all the, um, like everybody else does, you know, like the streamline and this, that, and everything else. I don't have that stuff. I just do YouTube, Zoom, and Facebook, and that's, that's all I do. I do have um, Discord, but I don't know how to invite people to go over there. So it's just sitting there. So you guys got a face, or not Facebook, put up some of your blocks on Gladys' channel that you've done. Group. Group, so that we can see it. Group. I'm sorry, Gladys' group. Okay, Barbara, ladies, thank you so much for a great chat today. I learned something new today and was inspired to create. I need to sign off for tonight. Excellent work, Gladys. Kathy, thanks for the yo-yo lesson. You're welcome. You're welcome. Have a great night, okay? Hope to see. Come over to my channel. I have a channel. With Gladys. Yeah, with Gladys. She's on there with me. It's Kathy's Quilts and Crafts. And Sandra. Don't forget Sandra. <laughs> uh huh. And Sandra. Sandra has one. She's up there with us, too, but it's Kathy's, well, it's what my name says right here. Here, I'll put it in there. Yeah, um, okay, I'll say night, Barbara. And this is my yeah. channel. It's coming okay. up. <laughs> Just type pin. I'll drop the channel. Oh. oh, okay. Let me drop pin. And then you can go to my channel. And well, I'm glad so I Sandra said I deleted Discord. How do you do that? I want to delete it too. Let me know how you did that. Okay, there's my channel right there. So we do a lot of interesting conversations, a lot of interesting um things over there. We make quilts, we cross stitch, we do diamond mm -hmm. art, do crafts, we do make our afghans, we do all kinds of stuff over there on on my channel. And then there's the private zoom tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. Private Zoom tomorrow. Yep. For though, if anybody wants to ever come on the private Zoom with us, please let me know, and we'll we'll make sure you get the um the numbers and things. We have a good time over there too because we can say and do what we want. <laughs> you can swear. Not that we do anything wrong, but you know. Swear. Um, I come on at one o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Until usually five, somewhere around there. June, June. Kathy, do you, you were no, not yet. June, what? Did you wear your leg all day? Gonna take baby steps. Yep, baby steps, June. Baby steps. Tornado passed over us last night. We had to leave home and go back. And go to a brick church. Did you have to get off the trailer? No basement here. But no one got hurt. Oh, thank goodness. Man, those tornadoes. I'm so glad you guys are all okay. Barbara, I will see you th there. If I could figure out how to join, not even sure my monitor has a camera, but I would love for you all to see me. Yeah, that would be awesome. I mean, go to my channel. You have to be on my channel so we can do that, okay? And because um, it's through my Zoom that we, we do it. And that would be really, really nice to see you. Well, if you're on your computer, you should have, your camera should be working. If you have a computer, yeah, that's, that's it. If you have a computer, a tablet, um, you, your camera should be working. And if you're like Tiffany, use your phone. <laughs> she does. Um, Denise says, Mama Harden, how much notice do you get? How far away is the church? 
And then June, glad to hear that, Mama. And do you use a laptop, says Sandra. Yep, all laptops have cameras. Um, like right now, staring at me, giving me the... <laughs> <laughs> um, Denise, so both of you are not on Zoom now? About 20 minutes. Yeah, no, we're on Zoom. We're on Zoom. Mm -hmm. I'm reading the chat on YouTube. Right. And so yeah, is <laughs> yep. We're on you. Well, it's coming through on YouTube. Um, but right now, it's re I know we're on Zoom. We're on Gladys' Zoom. Yeah, on my channel. Tomorrow, we'll be on my Zoom for the um, private Zoom that I do every Saturday. Whoever says, if you have patience, I will try try it soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. Uh, bye, Barbara. Thanks for coming. Yes, thank you so much. Sandra and says, that pops need, need you to use a camera. I certainly hope you subscribe to my channel. And June, <laughs> pretty block, Gladys. Right. Can't read that right. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, no. <laughs> Just like this. Like you did to you me. Did that. <laughs> Smack. <laughs> See, I'm a good girl now that I got smacked on all that. Okay, Kathy. <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a slow one. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> I know, I know. I know. Oh, man, what a day. It was a beautiful day outside today, just too cold. You don't want to know what's temper tempest down here. Where are you it's right 80, now? It's 83 degrees outside and sunny. <laughs> oh, gosh, no. 54. I didn't even turn the air conditioner on. Boy, your church is about... I did this morning, but not this afternoon. It quit running. <laughs> right when you really need it, right? Okay, Mama says, church is about three miles from us. Couldn't see... Well, the rain came down so hard. I got another subscriber today, so... 396? <laughs> 196. 196. Where am I at? I don't know. Well, you're no help. <laughs> Let me go look. Six something. <laughs> yeah, where I've been forever, huh? Uh, Sandra's got 65 degrees at her house. Wow, Sandra. How'd you do that? I have 618. Valerie says, wow, Gladys. Well, that's what happens when you live in Wait, Texas. Wait, I'll show it one more time. It's so pretty. That's eight. What size is it? Ten and a half. Um... Sandra, Washington State, Kathy, I know. <laughs> Mama says God is good. Yes, he is. For nobody to get hurt. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Sandra's channel. And Denise, to Mama, I hope you continue to make it to church okay. I have seen the destruction of RV rec recreation vehicle. Oh yeah. Okay. And mobile home parks. Yes. Yes. RVs and mobile home parks. Absolutely. If there was ever a tornado or anything like that, I would not want to be in either of those. As much as I love RVing, and I do love RVs. 
and my grandma had a really nice mobile home. I, Nina wouldn't have any place to go except the closet. <laughs> I got all windows in each room. <laughs> well, if I do an RV trip, it's going to be to California. See my son's ranch. Ooh. Ooh. Jen just took a really nice picture of the sky outside. Clouds and sun. Very nice. I know. What, everybody out of questions? Come on. Everybody's out of questions, Gladys. Sandra, can't afford to rent one anymore. Yep. You know, a lot of people nowadays, because of all the expensive um, rents and stuff like that, they're living in RVs. And so they've set up, I know in Arizona and a couple other places, they set up RV parks just for that. So you buy the RV, you don't. We'll have a good dinner, Lori. What's for dinner, Lori? We're having tacos. Mm -hmm. Edible food? <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't all food edible? <laughs> yeah. Well, mostly. Some, no. What are you having for dinner, Gladys? Uh, I got a hamburger saw, sawing out in the refrigerator. Patty, I should say. Hamburger patty. I'm going to grab patty. I don't have no buns to put it on, but that's okay. Hi, Chase. Put it on bread. Well, give me a lick, why don't you? <laughs> and then, um, are you having french fries? No, I got chips. Chips. Come here, old chubby one. <laughs> she says make an appearance. Say hello. Say, where's Maya? Where's say, his girlfriend? Say, Gladys, where's my girlfriend? Where are you going? Sandra says TV parks. <laughs> I think that's RV parks. Charge for overnighters is 75 a night and up. But if you live there, you get a discount. Um, I don't know exactly how much, but you get a discount. And it's not near what you pay for an apartment. Small check doesn't like me. <laughs> yeah. Even I have troubles with typing on the phone. No, we were talking about RVs, Jen. <laughs> I don't want to live in an RV. I, I don't mind... Traveling in an RV. Very nice. But to live, you know. What would I do my sewing? Why I wouldn't have a room for sewing? Only 500 a month, Sandra says. See, that's nothing. Have you checked out the price of rent these days, Sandra? They're like a two-bedroom, two-bath. My apartment is twenty eight hundred a month. No way. I live like that. Twenty eight hundred. Jason says my sister has a tiny house and lot rent is three hundred to four hundred a month plus utilities. It's not even a fancy place. Have a good weekend, Chase, <laughs> says Valerie. <laughs> Chasers, baby. Valerie said, have a good weekend. If Dave runs over him with my wheelchair, mm -hmm. he came that close. <laughs> that close. And Chase doesn't move. I just bust stepped on Maya this afternoon. She wasn't moving <laughs> fast enough to get 
I had to go to the door. I said, dog out. Move it. Um, Sandra, and a neighbor less mm -hmm. than six feet away. What did a spider? <laughs> you know, hairy arm. <laughs> and you'll be laughing, huh? I know, six o'clock. Guess I have my two hours are up. <laughs> well, it doesn't mean you have to go two hours, but you know. You could go over. I'll post the two blocks in my Facebook group. Okay, I'll go like it. Actually, yeah. I'll go love that. Love it. Dave, Dave, can you like not swear? Bye, Sandra. <laughs> Bye, Sandra. See you tomorrow. Are you going to be on tomorrow, right, Sandra? With her, I got to check. Because you never know. Are you going to be there, Sandra? Yes, no, maybe so. I don't know. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sandra. I know you didn't leave that fast. They're going outside. I can go outside on the balcony now with my leg. Do you know how long I wanted to do that? A long time. What time, says Sandra? One o'clock. Same time as always, one o'clock. I'm back to the, my regular scheduled programs. <laughs> uh, geez. What's good for the goose <laughs> is good for the gander. Yep, <laughs> I've heard that. That's what they say. Absolutely. I don't even know what block nine is. I didn't print it out yet. I'm having issues with that. So she falls. Yes. Are you there? No, I ran away. It is not shown up on YouTube yet. What? Are you answering the phone? Having issues with. Oh. Well, we're on Zoom. I know you are. It just now showed up. <laughs> and you guys blame me and say that I'm slow. No, it's YouTube. I know, but you say, well, it takes forever. Da, da, da. <laughs> no, YouTube. I can get a little, you say. Yep. It's supposed to be receiving the highest signal. I am. I was tired of waiting for my question to come up there. What question? What, what time? What, when, uh, what time? Or are, are you going to be there and this and that? So one o'clock. I, I said one o'clock. Well, it came in after I hit the dial. <laughs> okay. One I should be here. Okay. One o'clock. Here on YouTube, Terry says. Okay. Yes, we're leaving shortly. If I'm late, I'm late. Well, don't be late for a very important day. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to you later. All right, have a good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. Um, yes, you're still on. Da -da -da. Wow, Terry's back. Well, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> well, bye, Terry, everybody. Bye. We'll see you next time around. <laughs> yep. Yeah, bye, everybody. See you on Monday. Have a good weekend, all. And by all means, don't drink the Kool-Aid. Right. Do not. Right?